Hi, we're the Ohio guys here at Montserrat Con in Columbus, Ohio. Today we have Eric Kimmerer with us. How are you doing today, Eric? I'm doing really good, thank you very much. Having a good time at the con so far? I really am. It's my first convention out of state, out of any familiar territory as a guest. I am really enjoying it so far. Uh, and in spite of medical concerns, <laughs> yesterday I had a sty and was walking around with an eye patch, but I, I, I made it work, I think. I, uh, you definitely did. You yeah. That pirate look going on. Yeah, yeah. I decided to get some fake blood and kind of freak people out. I'm sure the con chair <laughs> appreciated that. <laughs> um, what is it like working in the industry today? Uh, it's very fast paced. Uh, there is a lot of people really trying to get in now and there's a, the influx of technology has allowed a lot more accessibility to the industry. So a lot of people can do this out of home. So it's definitely a lot more competition, but competition just makes you want to improve yourself that much better. Mm -hmm. So. I'm still having a lot of fun with it. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, what is one of the favorite shows you've worked on recently? I would say it's Toradora, actually. I sank more hours into that show, into that one character, than any other character I have ever done. And I've been through theater rehearsals and, and classes and stuff like that. But for a 25-episode series, I think we put in over 150 hours of record time just for Ryuji. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was insane. It was really meticulous. And it was also just a very fun, creative environment because I love the director, Alex. He and I are huge movie nerds. And we would just spend 30 minutes after each session talking about our collections and everything. And it's always fun when you can have fun with the people there, especially when you're stuck with them for 150 hours. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Um, speaking of Torda, what was it like working on it? I know you just touched on it a lot. <laughs> Incredible. I had no idea that I would be a part of something like that in my entire career. Because it came out in 2009, I think, or something, five years ago. Uh, and it was Niz America's first anime dub. And I got the audition. I got the audition for both Ryuji and Kitamura. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, well, I'm never going to get Ryuji. It's impossible. <laughs> I, I, Kitamura's more my wheelhouse. He's the nerdy glasses character, and that's something I do better. Sure enough, they liked something about it, and even the director once said, yeah, I never thought you would be the person, but hey, man, you nailed it. <laughs> so, again, it was a really, really fun environment, and we had a lot of uh, creative moments where we were able to collaborate on lines and, and really figure the character out, and I just love that kind of work. It's definitely an awesome show. Yes, yes, indeed. Uh, what was it like working on Excel World? Excel World was really cool. It was my first big role, um, and it was a very character-y voice. I was still getting very used to the, uh, the, the strain of being in the booth for three plus hours and screaming my ass off all the time. <laughs> uh, but I, I really had a lot of fun with him because he had this journey to go on, and I, I appreciate any show that has a, a, a developing main character. Yeah. yeah, and he starts off really wimpy and nerdy, but we knew where we wanted to go, so being able to go through the... the monomyth, the, the quintessential hero's journey with this kind of character that I've always loved reading upon, that was the most fun to me. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, what was it like working on Blood Lad? Blood Lad... <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Blood Lad, I, I just kind of laughed at because I didn't even audition for it. Well, no, I auditioned for the main characters, but the character I got, I'd never auditioned for. Really? Really. The, the only reason I got it, I am sure, is because it is another Yuki Kaji role. <laughs> if anybody knows Yuki Kaji out there, he is the actor for Alibaba and Magi, The Labyrinth of Magic, of Haryuki Arita and Excel World, both characters I've done. And he's also, I mean, aside from that, he's done Eren in, in, uh, in Attack on Titan, you know, that, that one that's the biggest right now, and I can't even remember the name. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that was, I got that role, and I had to look up who it was, because he sounded so familiar, the Japanese version of it, and sure enough, it was him. It was Yuki Kaji again, third role. Awesome. Yeah, and it was also, you know, my, the girl who played my sister was Kira Buckland, and she was Kuro Yuki Hime in Excel World. It was always, it's always fun to work off of her, because I've known her for years. We were friends before either of us got into the industry. So it was, it was just a fun little environment. Very nice. Yeah. Um, what was it like working on Inazuma 11? Inazuma 11, that was so fast-paced. I, I think that entire session was only an hour long and we really had to pump through it, but I, I loved it because I didn't even know how big that was in like Japan and how there were people really wanting this game to come out over here. And I, I also love Level 5 Studios, the guys who did the game. They also did Nino Kuni, and it was a shock to me to go in and actually be a part of one of their games. I, I really, really like their work, so I hope I can work with them in the future some more. Very nice. Yeah.
Um, if you could pick any character from the series that you've worked on, who would you be? And you can mix or match with different ones. You know, I'd be Ryuji, mostly because I just wish I had his love for cooking and cleaning. <laughs> As an actor, dear God, my house is a pigsty. <laughs> And I've been in convention mode all freaking summer long. I don't think I've stepped foot into a grocery store, so I really need to start doing that, being better about that. So I take I take Ryuji skills along. Very nice. Yeah. Um, is there anything coming out that you'd like to talk about or can talk about? Uh, well, I guess I can talk about this now. I'm in Tales of Zillia 2, uh, which I'm, I'm just kind of peppered in the background, and I think I'm an optional boss character in there. Sometimes, they'll just bring us in sometimes for what's called incidentals, because... The, the cast list of a video game is so big nowadays, especially JRPGs, so many different characters. But that just came out. Um, Mugen Soul Z also came out recently, which I was in. And then the rest of the projects are still under the dreaded NDA. Awesome. Yeah. Um, is there any way fans can get a hold of you? Maybe Facebook, Twitter? Yes, yes. I'm on Twitter at eKimmerer. That's E-K-I-M-E-R-E-R. -E -E -R. And you can find me on Facebook. I just started a fan page. And that's under Eric Scott, which okay. may be a stage name I'm adopting for the sake of... My last name is really hard for people to pronounce, <laughs> <laughs> apparently. But it, it is how it is spelled. It's pronounced how it's spelled. So, uh, yeah, find me on there. All right. Well, I'm Jared. He's Eric. We'll see you next time.